Sorry, thanks a lot. Tell me again if I make a mistake. Uh, it's uh, a real pleasure to be doing this. <laughs> it really is. I don't know but, what you're doing, so okay. <laughs> to be welcoming you back home again. You know, um, it's uh, a remarkable achievement that Randall's pulled off. And it's really the culmination of what's been going on in the yachting world starting about 50 years ago when there was an, started to be an explosion of yachts all around the world. And at the top end of that, people, women and men, would go out and just push the limits to see what they could do. And uh, the early ones were crossing the Atlantic or maybe sailing from San Francisco to Australia or out to even Hawaii. And then people you know, tried for more and something else. And in recent years, uh, people started trying to trying sailing around the world non-stop. And probably by about now, I would guess about 150 people, both women and men, have sailed non-stop solo around the world, starting mostly from in Europe, uh, from uh, France and England. Last year, uh, no, two years ago, uh, a French girl uh, sailed through the Northwest Passage, west to east, and uh, got the Barton Cup from the OCC for, for, in her honor. But that was about the first, that was the second time somebody sailed solo through the Northwest Passage, that I know of. But no one has ever done what Randall has done. And he concocted this voyage, and when I first heard of it, I thought, that's nuts. That is seriously nuts. <laughs> that's rich coming from you. <laughs> <laughs> you know, because the, the, the risks involved, uh, you know, either in the Southern Ocean or in the far north, in the Canadian Arctic, were very high. I mean, they're very high on a, for anybody, but particularly if you're solo. Then you know I got talking to Randall and we got talking about it and it became more realistic and more probable. Um, so Randall left in 2017, fully equipped, ready to go, and then fates into me. And they will in the Southern Ocean, and he got badly smashed up twice and had to recover from both of them. The first one uh, was off Cape Horn, he ended up steering and steering. Or I think it was 450 miles, as I recall, into the southern uh, tip of South America. Um, those of you who have been following all this time will recall that it was one of the greatest, greatest pieces of seamanship that uh, has been done in a long while. What, me? Yeah, I'd say so. <laughs> I mean, because the risk of getting it wrong was a little. Oh, sure. <laughs> But it's, a, it's a absolutely sure there, and it's all rocks, and much of it is uncharted. He came in, he's called Golf of Trinidad? No. No, 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 uh, Bahia Cook. Bahia Cook. Got himself into Ushuaia. Uh, Joanne had to fly down there uh, with a couple of suitcase fulls of gear to put the boat back together again, and mostly to convince the Argentinian customs that they sh should let it through. Well, I think even the Argentinian customs who you know, provide themselves are being pretty tough. They just wilted under the <laughs> Joanna on a mission is on a mission. <laughs> Randall put the boat together again, took off, thought he was still going to make it. Fate seemed to be in again. We got into another knockdown uh, in the Indian Ocean, ended up in Tasmania. Had to put the boat again, back together again, which he did. Uh, and then it was too late to get to through the Atlantic and up to um, the far north. So he gave up on that trip, but not on the event. Sailed back to California. Four months later, only maybe three and a half months later, he took off again on this trip. Well, that takes a lot of determination and dedication to a course to have done that. It's uh, pretty amazing, really. Um, pulling this trip off, Required a whole lot of things to come together. Uh, first of all, Randall's experience that he developed over a long period of time. Secondly, a really good boat. Uh, <laughs> yeah, of course, I did. And mostly a very supportive wife. Yes. And uh, Joanne, credit to you. Uh, my wife sent best wishes to you. Uh, she, she had to live through it as well. 
So it's a it's a pleasure on behalf of the Cruise Club to present you with this plaque. What is this? I'll read the plaque to you. It's for the Ocean Cruising Club. Congratulate congratulates Randall Reeves and Sailing Vessel Molly on the completion of the figure eight voyage around the Americas and Antarctica solo and in one season. So sailing first. Nice. Yeah. 